Hello and welcome to the fourth tutorial in the Cocos 2DX multi-resolution tutorial series and in this tutorial we're going to look at how to implement the code that supports multi-resolution. Basically we'll be dealing with the app delegate. Uh, first of all what you want to do is create a new project. If you want to go to your resources folder, delete everything in there. If there's a font folder, leave that, that's A-OK. -okay. Delete everything else. So we're going to have separate directories for the different devices so I've already got them created here basically my iPad, iPad HD, iPhone, iPhone HD and iPhone HD5 and there you got a you got background plus you've also got the different images as well you might think there's not an image in iPad and that's because we'll be using the same image for iPad uh, except for backgrounds like small assets same for iPad, I, iPhone HD and iPhone HD5 um, and we'll just put in the iPhone HD as your full back iPhone have, will have a separate one as well iPad HD we are just going to copy, paste this into the resources. Next step is just open up your project. I will only be running this in the emulator for iPhone, but this will work for Android as well, as that is what it is designed for. We want to do just go to your resources, select all of these files, click delete, and open up the finder again. Just drag and drop these five, five folders. And then when it pops up here, you just want to select this one, create folder references for any folders. We don't want to create a group and we don't want to copy items in the destination group folder because they're already there. And the great thing about create folder references is if you add more images or take away images from it, it'll update it automatically. And we can include Mac as well. Click finish and what you want to do is just go to your classes, appdelegate.cpp. I always do this, double click it, uh, Visual Studio behavior and um, what you want to do is just here you want to do auto file util equals file utils colon colon get instance semicolon and auto screen sorry which, which will basically be the screen size gl view which is declared up here we'll do get frame size semicolon std colon colon vector and in the vector we're going to have to do std string and we're just going to put res dir order so basically the resolution directory orders aka okay, the five folders because we'll have four back folders so just in case you can't find a higher resolution one you'll get a lower resolution one that's not preferable that's not what you generally want unless you design it that way like with the assets but it's better than having no asset and in the first section we're just going to do 2048 equals equals screen size dot width or 2048 equals equals screen size dot width 2048 is basically the width or the height of an iPad retina depending on if you handy holding in landscape or portrait so this is suited for landscape mode but you can easily adapt it to portrait mode as well and within this you want to do res dir orders dot pushback you want to push back ipad hd you can simply copy and paste this five times and in here we can remove the ipad then we can put iPhone HD5, copy and paste this, remove the iPhone and then in here, I mean remove the 5, and in here just put iPhone, so you'll check for iPad HD, then iPad, iPhone HD5, iPhone HD, then iPhone. Finally in this if then we we'll do GL view, set design resolution size so the width will be 2048 by 1536 again this is suited if you're doing it for landscape if you're doing it for portrait you can just flip these two around and put 1536 for here and for the following if statements as well that we'll be implementing in a moment for this you want to do resolution policy colon colon no border the great thing about the no border one is as the name suggests it shows no like black borders and it just zooms in until the entire screen is filled. So as I was talking to you before in the second tutorial about backgrounds, 
you design them so the main part of the background, if the background is, let's say, really crucial, um, along with the assets as well, into the middle. So if a bit does get clipped off, as, as it will on different devices on Android as well, it doesn't look bad. And then what you want to do is simply copy and paste this. Put it else here. It's only, an, it's only else if it doesn't equal there. You can do 1024. Change this to 1024. Remove the iPad HD. Change this to 1024 by 768. Again, we can just copy and paste it. Change this to 1136. So this is iPad HD, aka iPad Resina, regular iPad, iPhone HD 5, so iPhone 5, iPhone 5S, and basically the widescreen iPhone Retina. Change this to 1136. Change this to 1136 by 640. Before I forget, I've got to remove this line here. Copy and paste it again. Remove this line just in case I forget. Change this to 960. 960. 960. And now for the else statement, instead of just doing this with 480 by 320 we're going to do something a little extra we're going to do if screen size dot width is greater than 1080 and this is more for android because if you use this on an ios device and it gets into this else statement it won't go above this simply because iOS doesn't have a 1080 device unless they release new devices. But again, you would you would just modify this accordingly. But this, if you go into iOS, it will just fall back as we'll show you in a minute and when we have the extra code for the 480 by 320 resolution. And in here, this, so yeah, this is for high resolution Android devices like the Nexus 5, the Nexus 7 version 2, etc. In here, we're just going to put res directory order dot push back. And then here we're going to put iPhone HD5. And we're going to copy and paste this. I mean iPhone HD, sorry. Then iPhone. And what you want to do is so we're simply literally just copy and paste this. Then you want to finally do an else statement, aka this will be low resolution Android devices or the regular iPhone. You can just copy and paste this these two lines. Change this to 480 by 320. And now outside these statements, do file utils set search paths for that we can put a resolution directory order semicolon and now I would just do just clean it first let's run it on the regular emulator so aka non retina iPhone and what it will do it will get if we just open up the hello world scene by default has a closed normal close selected and a hello world or png you'll get the images from here and then we'll load it in a high resolution emulator and you'll see that it still looks good on that as well because it's getting the appropriate resources
almost there. Sorry about that. Just a little notification on my phone. Okay, here we go. We've got it running on an iPhone. This is the actual background for Hello World is this. It just says what device and then you say the resolution of the button down here. Just click this so it exits it. Now I'll run it on an iPhone retina, the wide one. Okay, iPhone 5 and 5S. I'll jump to portrait mode, I mean landscape mode in a moment. So we picked up the iPhone HD 5 Hello World at PNG and it's got the high resolution 86 by 86 and this will be the same case for iPad HD, iPhone HD, iPhone HD 5 as we just saw, iPhone and as we saw before and the regular iPad. So that's it for this tutorial we've implemented the multi-resolution code and this will work great on an Android device as well. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonosystem.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or also just directly message us via YouTube. In the next tutorial, we're going to cover how to actually implement a really a simple example scene. It's sort of just going to be modified from this, but just so it works on all the different devices. Because just if I just load it up again, pay attention to this, or more specifically, pay attention to the Hello World text, which is a label. It's not something, it's not an image that we've added. Now it's going to run it on the regular iPhone so you can see what it looks like. It takes up a lot more real estate compared to how much of the screen size is available, as in, even though it looks roughly the same on my screen and on your video in terms of if you were to put your fingers on the screen but if you compare it to the actual screen size it's significantly smaller or significantly bigger so we'll be fixing this in the next tutorial and also how to generally position your assets as well because you want them to work great on every single device as usual thanks for watching and have a nice day